Okay, Zip, come on. It's time to eat. Let's go, buddy. All right, come on. Let's go have breakfast. My name is Keith Adam. And I'm Elizabeth Adam. And this is Serendipity Farm Alpacas and Llamas. This is something we started about, oh, really only three years ago. We've been here about five years. And uh, at first we thought we might do something with horses or some other animals, dogs that we knew. And then we thought, let's do something we don't know anything about and learn all over again. And um, as we started to um, pick the animals and also set up things like fencing and structures and so on, we realized that because our farm is in Lanark Highlands and rocky and uh, very difficult and different, uh, that um, serendipity was a good name because uh, we kind of had to go around rocks and, and even our house is built around rock structures and so we thought you have to kind of go with the flow and be surprised by things. Well, we had sort of skirted around with the idea of alpacas and llamas a number of years ago. We thought that they were prohibitively expensive, whereas it ended up that they weren't quite so, so bad. Okay, Zahara, it's all good? Well, we met in, the, I guess, the late 70s, mid 70s. No, mid 70s. Uh, gosh, I guess we got married in 1978. We decided to retire and this would have been 2010-11 and move out to the country. Um, the property that we have here is a hundred and some acres that had nothing on it. There was no house. You have a, a llama in every field guarding that field and they look after the alpacas in that field and uh, so far we've had no trouble with, with anything. So. It's, and we've just fallen in love with the llamas, of course, too, because they're so smart and interesting and just neat animals, so. Our baby llama, who is not so much a baby anymore, but he was born just about 10 days before they moved here to live, and uh, we named him Serendipity, so that was one of the others. He was the first baby, actually, on our farm, the yes. first Korea. Yes, yes. Yeah, and he looked just like the baby alpacas at first, but he just yes. grew really, really fast. He's now the alpha king out there, and, but he still loves people and, as you know, loves his treats. So. Good fellow. That should be a boy serendipity. Probably not. If you go in the barns, especially in the afternoons when they're having little naps and so on, it is the most peaceful place you could imagine. They all hum, they're all down cushed, and you walk in there and the energy level is just so calm. You just can't imagine anything nicer than that. So, I mean, you know, there are times when they're fighting and kicking and spitting, but overall, they're just the neatest animals. They're so inquisitive. They're, you know, really, really um, uh, cute to watch, especially when they're, they're young, but, um, uh, and they're just so different. Uh, last year, I lost my mom, and it was a very difficult time. And I would go down to the barns and cry a bit, and they would all come around me. It was a really wonderful, um, wonderful, sharing moment. Good boy, Ralph. Just can't imagine not having animals. You know, it would be kind of empty without them. 